Okay, let's talk about how to control visibility of individual polygons or groups of polygons within a single subtool. So if I hold Control and Shift, I'm going to get this little button here is going to light up, and you probably are going to have select, uh, select Rect as your option. So hold the Control and Shift. I can click and drag out, and I will get a green square. Now I no longer need to hold Control and Shift once I have begun to drag this little square out. So if I let go of my pen off the tablet, I'm going to basically hide the geometry that was outside of my green square. So this is a control Z there. And if I want to move my little shape around here, what I've drawn, I can just hold the space bar. So this, all this stuff is very, very similar to how the masking worked, but this is controlling visibility. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate some geometry. So if I want to invert what's visible, hold control and shift and then drag do a little drag outside of the geometry if I want to show the hidden geo I again I'm holding control and shift for all of this I just click outside of the, of the mesh here if I have a polygroup which the, the way that I just made that is I just masked a little piece of the geo and then I hit control W which will Put the masked geometry into a polygroup. If you're working with Z-spheres or whatever, you'll get some kind of automatic polygroup. So if you don't have to worry about how to make polygroups or really how to work with them at this point, uh, that's going to be covered in a later tutorial. But if I want to isolate the polygroup, I just need to click on a vert within that polygroup. So now that I've got this one selected, if I wanted to invert it, once again, I'm just going to do a click and drag. And now each new polygroup that I select is going to hide itself. So I think if I do this, it's going to invert everything because you can't have all the geo hidden. And even though these are both very similar greens, they're not actually the exact same green. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't tell, but it just happens like the ZBrush knows. So that's how it's able to isolate these. So that is using mask rect, or sorry, uh, select rect, control and shift, and you can isolate and you can invert and you can show all by simply clicking the mesh. It doesn't invert your visibility if you've got nothing hidden. Well, by clicking out here, you've actually got to have something hidden for it to, to, do, to do that uh, uh, invert thing there. Um, okay, so that is select direct. If I click on the brush holding Control and Shift, it gives me access to this great big menu. We're not gonna worry about most of this stuff for now. The other one though that is useful is select lasso. So select lasso is kind of like mask lasso. It'll give you the ability to draw a more organic shape. All the other rules apply. Holding spacebar down allows me to move my shape around. If I want to invert my visibility selection action here, I can just hold the Alt key and it will turn red. And rather than isolating the stuff inside the shape, it will hide it. Other than that, it is exactly the same as select rect in that if I want to invert it, I just lasso some area outside of the mesh. And if I want to show everything, I can just hold control and shift and click outside the mesh and everything will become visible again. So this is very, very convenient. If you're ever working with, with something that's sourced from Z-spheres, uh, let's just make something very quickly, whatever some arms. If I tap the A key, of course, remembering to drop Dynamesh subdivision and density to their lowest values and make Polymesh 3D, what you will see is if I have select lasso or, or select direct, doesn't really matter, uh, visible, then I can begin isolating the geometry by polygroup. So each polygroup is sourced from a specific Z-sphere, and this will be set up automatically. So if you've got, uh, I think the next project is going to be modeling a hand, it's easy to isolate the fingers and stuff uh, using this technique. One more thing that's very, very useful about Select Lasso is if you click on an edge, you'll actually hide that entire ring, that ring, a poly ring there, poly loop. I'm uh, sorry, I think a loop is the, is the long one. The ring is the uh, parallel ones. And there's something weird with the geo that's making it want to kind of run up that way. It probably shouldn't be doing that. This one I think is working. No. Anyway, uh, the loop stuff, def oh, it's probably because I have symmetry turned on. Let me turn that off. Anyway, so loop, uh, the loop stuff is very useful for hard surface geometry 
and, and operations where you're dealing with low poly geo, uh, which we will be talking about in the uh, sort of later part of the, uh, of the ZBrush journey. There's some hard surface tutorials out there on my website and on my YouTube channel if you are interested in that kind of thing. So anyway, that is the crash course in Select Lasso and Select Rect located here and accessible using the control and shift key together.